Um, I met with my peers this morning at 7 o'clock in the morning uh, in reference to the my uh, particular uh, business strategy and or I, business idea. Uh, my company is called Techora. It is a soft custom software development firm for uh, enterprise resource planning, content management systems, um, that sort of thing. And we do integrations and data migrations. Um, now, I found it a, a huge challenge to... Um, sell this sort of idea to my classmates because they are not my usual um, uh, market sector. Uh, usually the people that I am marketing to uh, have some experience with, um, you know, and resource planning type systems or content management systems. They've already been using something or they already are familiar with the need for it. Um, however, um, I can see how, um, it, you know, trying to make this attractive to the non-technical people, um, it may be something that I need to work on. Um, however, in trying to describe this, I spent a lot of time describing what is open source technology, which is a major uh, part of my business. I uh, am a, a very strong open organization and open innovation, open, you know, that, that whole idea of openness is something that I stand for. And um, I know a lot of people are uh, still, you know, the kind of the, 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 the mark, uh, the, the general consumer market doesn't understand what open means and th are afraid of it because they think that it, may introduce risk or be unstable. Uh, one of my peers actually thought after describing open source technology that they related it to jailbreaking their phones so they could install third-party apps. Although I can understand to some degree that correlation, um, it, it was quite frustrating, I'll have to admit, to try to describe to this in within a 30-minute period of time. In any case, uh, the example that I gave here during my presentation was uh, OpenERP, which is an open source uh, enterprise re uh, resource planning system. Um, I, my current company uh, or contract that I'm working with is a manufacturing plastic bag manufacturing company out of California. And uh, we have a three-month contract with them for a two-man team here, one a server administrator that's on site and myself uh, as a software development um, engineer and uh, off-site here in Arizona. Um, and, you know, the, the project was, uh, the contract is for $15,000. It's, it's to migrate over from an access database to this open ERP system and integrate with their Microsoft Dynamics. Um, now, in describing, uh, you know, how these systems work, I, you know, attempted to kind of describe what Model View Controller was about and how this kind of worked together. And I think that's really where I, I got a little bit too detailed for them. Uh, but the general idea was to describe that there's this sort of modular sort of uh, setup and how systems work. Uh, that you have a database, you have the user interface, and then you have, you know, the logic or the controller that that kind of controls all the workflows and uh, the logic behind how things work in the background. Also this concept of the application programming interface, which uh, is a, you know, a link into that system um, uh, for the purpose of communicating uh, information or transferring information back and forth between this and other systems. However, there is a middleware software that you do require. And uh, this general process as described here was that you'd have a trigger on one side that would say under this particular condition, you would go and send this information over to the integration service. Um, and, you know, the ETLs that, that I have, uh, open source ETLs that I have as examples here, Talent and Pentaho, uh, but generally that this system would transform the data in some way, and then there would be some action that would take place over to another system. In this example, I was using Drupal, which is an open source web-based or website uh, content management system. And that also this sort of interaction can can go back this direction. Um, I gave the example of, for instance, a person might be on their on your website, um, and order a product, and that in order to uh, place the order on your on your uh, you know out of your actual inventory, you would need to uh, 
uh, if you had a separate inventorying system uh, or manufacturing system like OpenERP, it would you know communicate back to uh, you know from uh, from the uh, Drupal system. Uh, you would have a uh, you know the order would trigger um, some information you know about the order uh, would be sent through this uh, ETL and then uh, directly over to the OpenERP. Now having something in the middle here, it makes it so that you can uh, manage this interaction uh, much more effectively. So that uh, you can uh, manage, you know, if you have like thousands of orders coming in, you, you aren't, if you directly connect this to this, you're going to have problems with, um, or you may have problems with, uh, this system, you know, having trouble not be, with maybe not being able to uh, create records fast enough or something. So this sort of system um, will set it up, you know, in, in a queue and then we'll feed it to the other system. Uh, but generally speaking, that this is an, you know, open source ecosystem as described here. And there are many other examples. Um, they were asking, for, you know, the kind of the questions about also what kind of uh, limitations or what does my systems, what do my systems don't do that others do? Um, I suppose that it's difficult for me to explain that. And I found, um, I don't know what I might need to do to discover that. Um, in general, I am aware of the limitations of each of the kinds of open source systems that exist out there. And I think as a custom implementer, um, that is my job is to identify with each project, which system will be best to work for them. Now, through this, uh, we use an agile methodology, agile project management, which is an iterative sort of uh, project management style versus the standard project management style, which uh, has a lot of requirements gathering up front and uh, can uh, lead to a lot of risk down the road. With the agile methodology, you take chunks of, um, you know, sort of smaller um, items of work and break them up into um, one or two week uh, uh, sections of time and do testing and, you know, in this way it's iterative that you, you know, improve upon the last with the next uh, iteration. Uh, generally with that uh, sort of method, I found it to be successful, especially in software development, because there's so many unknowns. Um, you know, answering those questions about like, what does my product not do? Uh, well, honestly, the options are limitless. You know, that, that it, I think that what I do cater to is the idea of low cost customizations. You know, with a proprietary system, bringing in uh, consultants uh, from, uh, you know, some consultant company for some proprietary system like Microsoft Dynamics, it can cost the company anywhere between 50 and hundreds of thousands, you know, tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars to implement a new system. In fact, the company that I'm working with has had that bad experience and does not want it again. Uh, so, you know, basically that they were sold on this product and then found that they were only getting the base installation because they couldn't afford anything more and they were uh, felt like that they were really cheated out of the advantage of, uh, you know, the system that, that they were being sold uh, to get. Um, in any case, the idea is that it, being open source, uh, being a smaller team as well, uh, you can have low cost customizations. And that also it caters, I cater to small business and nonprofit. So, um, cause I'm not, I'm really not interested in doing, um, I, I, although I, I have to be say that I am interested in big data to a certain extent, I think from, you know, sort of a trending and, uh, marketing sort of per perspective, um, I am interested in, you know, that kind of research. Uh, however, from the you know, perspective of um, making, helping a business grow, I think that we really, the big business is out of style and small business is, is the way to, you know, the future, honestly. I think that big business does still have some uh, place in this world, um, like, uh, but, but it's going to move towards the creative companies, uh, away from the, you know, uh, the labor market and towards, um, you know, standard labor market, uh, towards the, uh, 
towards the the sort of more of creative type companies like we are seeing you know Google and Facebook and all these other high technology companies that are really moving in that direction um, or the you know com- they're getting a lot of profit over others um, so you know I, I think that there's a lot of opportunity within the small business nonprofit most people want to uh, do something for their local market for their uh, whatever it is and they don't want to get huge and uh, you know they want to have some sort of sustained, um, you know, slow money growth type situation, and you know something for their families, and you know maybe 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 two or three other families that sort of thing. But uh, but a lot of them want to stay small, and uh, you know that there's still opportunity for um, like low skilled workers within those companies. Um, however. Uh, we're getting more and more towards the the high skilled um, sort of society uh, as well. So you know it's interesting to me uh, as far as those subjects go. But uh, really, honestly, the the business is uh, to be about. And and I did get some interesting feedback from them. You know, I think the idea of like what does my product not do? Well, it doesn't do big data. Uh, it does. It deals with smaller. Uh, even though it 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 has the capability of doing big data, I don't specialize in that. So uh, so there are some things that I don't do, and I think that that's absolutely fine. Um, so you know, I, I think that it was interesting to go through this process of peer review, uh, talking about my business here uh, today. Thank you, and have a good day.